We've been telling you a lot about what school districts are doing while kids are out of school. Radford put all of their hourly school staff on salary to make sure they're paid for the rest of the school year. But as 10 News anchor Jenna Zibton explains, that's not the only thing that's different. Many schools started talking about closing plans and what they were going to do last week. But Radford schools were on spring break, which put them in a unique situation. They had staff and families travel to high risk areas, so they've asked staff not to come back to school. Instead, they're working remotely. Walking into schools, the halls are empty and chairs are stacked on top of tables. Superintendent Rob Graham says they took steps to deeply sanitize all of the schools. McHarg and the school board office are still open right now, but are being cleaned every day after people leave. He says they're focused on feeding families, not on grades right now. It's very hard. It, it's very hard. and. We're in a small community. Uh, we, we take care of each other. We love each other. Um, you know, I, I think it's something that uh, is heavy on my heart. I know it's heavy on the hearts of a lot of others. Uh, we, we need to make sure that we stay united and that we stay as a family and really take care of each other uh, and, and watch out for our neighbors, uh, watch out for our elderly, and, and in my position, especially watch out for our students. They're feeding students at bus stops and giving out books there too. Right now, they're not expecting teachers to come up with days or weeks of lesson plans to send home. The superintendent wants you to call the school system if you have any concerns or needs and they will try to help you. If you have a question about schools, let me know. I'm working to get answers for you. Jenna Zibton, 10 News, working for you.